Hello everyone and welcome back. Before we start today's video, here's another quick update on the latest news around the world regarding the international health crisis. First, Donald Trump has made an offer to help wipe out the virus in Iran overnight, claiming that he could deliver a permanent solution across the Middle Eastern state within hours. Next, in the USA there's been controversy over the decision of some churches to stay open despite the need for social distancing. Now there are two sides to this debate. On one side it's clearly very dangerous for so many people to gather in one building and it places all of them and other people in their community at risk. On the other hand, um, oh no, uh, there's actually only one side to that debate. And finally, on a positive note, the lack of people on the streets has seen some wild animals appearing in residential areas as they no longer feel frightened off by humans. Hello everyone, welcome back to all of you in the Smelly Army. So today we're going to be having a look at my current, I think, top five affordable upscale fragrances. So what do I mean by upscale? I'm talking about fragrances that smell classy, uh, kind of smell expensive. Um, to, to sort of give an idea what category we're thinking about here, uh, I'm, I'm thinking maybe, yes, I would wear these fragrances to go to a wedding. I didn't want to call it top five wedding fragrances because uh, there ain't many weddings going on at the moment due to the world situation, but top five upscale smelling fragrances that are really well priced. So let's get stuck into it. Uh, a couple of new ones here that you've not heard about on my channel before, so let me know what you think in the comments below about my picks. So the first one is Moustache Eau de Parfum from Rochas. Rochas Moustache. Eau de Parfum version, there is also an Eau de Toilette that I've not tried. What a great fragrance this is, really, really classy juice. And you can pick this up at the moment on Notino in the UK for just £32 for a 75ml bottle that I've got here. They also do a 125ml size. A lot of people say this one smells really similar to YSL's Tuxedo, a much more expensive niche line fragrance from Yves Saint Laurent. I haven't actually tried that recently enough to compare but uh, that's certainly expensive. This is not. Lovely, heavy, and rather neat bottle design. Really like that, the old-fashioned moustache uh, writing. I think there was an old version of this back in the day. Now they've reissued it in an EDT and uh, an Eau de Parfum. Notes on this one. You've got tangerine, pink pepper, cedar, rose, patchouli, and benzoin. The perfumer is Natalie Gracia Chateau, and I think she also did, uh, in complete contrast, Popeye Eau Fresh for Lamal a few years back. So this one, it's um, it's described actually on uh, Fragrantica as a woody oriental fragrance, and uh, that's a pretty good description. It's got the sweetness we expect from oriental style fragrances coming from the benzoin. It's spicy, it's definitely a woody smell, although actually, weirdly, there isn't uh, more than just a cedar wood note listed in the note lifting. But it definitely has a woody undertone. It's spicy, it's rather resinous and balsamic. There's there's almost hints of incense and that kind of thing in here. Uh, it's very dense, quite a thick kind of smell. Sticks around on your skin for a long, long time. Great performance on this one for me. Not beast mode in projection, but very nice uh, longevity. And just a really, really classy juice. If you like your sort of old school fragrances, your fougeres and stuff, it doesn't smell much like one of those. Uh, and all, despite the sort of slightly retro vibe of the bottle, it's more of a modern classic smell. There's something a little bit maybe nostalgic in that smell, but it doesn't, I can't pin it down as smelling like an old school 70s or 80s masculine fragrance that I remember. Definitely just dressed up in a suit, pure class in a bottle and an incredible price on that one. So Moustache Eau de Parfum from Rochas, my first pick in the list. Don't forget, if you'd like to join the Smelly Army Private Members Club over on Patreon, there's a link in the description to do that. It costs just $2 a month and you get an extra video from me every week. Plus you get to watch everything I've already uploaded in there. We're building a really nice community, lots of interaction, and I'd love to see you in there. Next up then, we have Eau de Courage. 
So Correge is the house here. And this one goes back to the 1970s, but again, it's been re-released re uh, a few years back. So Eau de Correge, I picked this up for an incredible £16.99 in the UK. It's a 50 ml bottle. Uh, the notes on this one, you've got bergamot, lime, petty grain, mint, lily of the valley, uh, wormwood, moss, patchouli, and vetiver, and absinthe. It's beautiful. A lot of people actually on the Fragrantica reviews compare this to vintage Old Sauvage from Dior. And yep, there's a little bit of a similarity. It's not a clone of that by any means though. Very, very bright and vibrant. A very green fragrance. The juice is green. A lot of the notes listed are green. The petit grain lime. Lovely zesty lime note. And that, it's got that mint note that is like a fresh mint leaf, not a peppermint sweet, but like a mint leaf that you would get in your, is it a mojito, the drink with mint in it? think so. Uh, it, it's just really, really bright and lovely. It's, it's definitely green. There's a little bit of an old school feel and it's got everything you love about a sort of old school classic eau de cologne style fragrance, but a bit more complexity in it. It's definitely herbal, kind of fresh, bright, breezy, optimistic, herbal, a little bit of an old school vibe, but not very, very dated. I've got someone here. Nice longevity for me on my skin. Again, not beast mode in projection. So for fresher weather, if you're going to a spring or summer wedding, e.g. that kind of thing, maybe a daytime event where you, you're going to dress up in a suit, special occasion, you want to smell fresh but you also want to, you don't want to smell like Invictus Aqua or something like that, you want to smell a little bit more classy and sophisticated. Eau de Courage, fantastic value for money, also actually be a pretty good work scent and that kind of thing, so check that one out. Very rarely have I heard anyone, I don't think I've ever heard anyone mention that on YouTube, so uh, hopefully I've brought that to the world here today. Next up there, and this was in another recent list actually from me, this is Aramis Tobacco Reserve. This was in my uh, How to Smell Like a Modern Man video and uh, it would be good for that purpose indeed too. So Aramis Tobacco Reserve, a flanker I guess to the original ad, Aramis Eau de Toilette, which is brilliant but quite old school smelling. Notes on this one, you've got Clary Sage, Cassis Nutmeg, Oris, tobacco uh, leaf, tonka bean and oak moss perfumer Edouard Flesher has done an outstanding job with this fragrance and you can pick this one up on, I think I found this on All Beauty in the UK for example, it was just £37.95 for 100ml. It's really, really creamy this one, it's creamy, it's a little bit powdery, it's got a lovely fresh tobacco leaf type accord, not like your Tom Ford tobacco for Neil, slightly sort of unctuous tobacco mixed with dry fruits thing, it's not that kind of thing, it's more like a fresh green tobacco leaf kind of smell and really, really just beautiful, it's kind of delicate yet quite powerful in performance but the, the character of the smell is quite delicate and sophisticated. Um, the tonka bean gives this kind of creamy sweetness that I really, really like. Sophisticated, complex, very, very affordable, kind of a niche smell if you ask me and uh, for fans of the tobacco note but in a, a kind of modern, affable, likeable way, not like Aramis uh, Havana which came out in the mid 90s which you can still get now. This is kind of a much more uh, modern smelling fragrance that really does smell classy and kind of grown up and mature. I guess you could call it mature but not dated. Superb stuff, nice performance, Aramis Tobacco Reserve, a modern classic in my opinion and it would be great for dressed up in a suit, again maybe for work but even more so for a special occasion, you know, anniversaries, weddings, that kind of thing. Moving on then, we've got two more left and this is a sort of more of a perennial Mr. Smelly favourite because it's Lalique Pour on from the house of Lalique, of course, and this is the Eau de Parfum version of the one with the horse's head. It's a bit confusing, there are a few with the same name with different animals. You have to get the one with the, the not the horse, the lion. You must get the lion version here. Okay, so this one is widely talked about as smelling similar to Creed's Bois de Portugal, and it kind of does, but it's I don't think it's a clone of that. Uh, the perfumer for this one is Maurice Roussel, very highly renowned perfumer who did Muscrave Azur for Frederic Mal. Uh, it's got lovely bright citrus, a ton of different citrus notes, pomelo, grapefruit, bergamot in the opening. Lovely, lovely lavender and quite a bit of uh, sweetness in this one. There's a nice vanilla note which is more prevalent than you'll find in Bois de Portugal which doesn't have that sweetness. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's got this lovely beautiful lavender sort of semi barbershopish uh, element to it. A little bit green, spicy, herbal, sweet, very, very likeable. I've got compliments on it. It's a great performer and the price for this one around the world, you can pick it up for really good prices. I found it actually today on All Beauty in the UK for I think the 125 mil size. You can get that either or the 75 mil and it was just £29.95. Absolutely a steal. Belongs in any 
classy fragrance lovers collection, I think. Lalique Pour Homme Eau de Parfum, just one to go. And I'm gonna throw in another one that you have heard me mention before, but I, I love it, and then a sort of an honorable mention. So we've got Galan's Habit Rouge, an absolute stunning classic from the mid 60s, 1965 release. Beautiful, bright, tart citrus notes in the opening, an exquisite rose note, and again, a little bit of sweetness and benzoin in the base and a slightly almost powdery Galan signature undertone. Really, really the ultimate uh, safe bet for an all round classy signature scent for a man, a little bit more of a grown up kind of smell than many other things out there, of course and they were completely different to their glands more recent line of fragrances like Lom and Lom, what is it, Lom Ideal, I mean, and all the flankers to that. This is the true classic masculine designer level fragrance from the house of Galan. Still smells great in the modern formulation. You can pick it up for really, really good prices at most of your discounters, which is a great thing about Galan. But you don't find that with your Chanel fragrances. Uh, one more than an honourable mention, a real favourite for me is Floris 89 from the English uh, niche perfumer Floris. This was released right back in the 50s. You can pick this up for a niche fragrance for decent prices, but I wouldn't call it very, very inexpensive. I think I found the 50 mil somewhere online today under the 50 pound mark, which is pretty good. And the 100 mil kind of you can get for like a 75 pound type mark. So for the classiness of the brand, I think that's a good price. It's a little bit stuffy and old fashioned. It is quite similar actually to the Guerlain Habit Rouge. It has a lot of floral notes, uh, definitely a bright kind of citrus greenness in the opening, a very soapy, like an old fashioned soap mixed with a kind of gentlemanly, almost barbershop kind of aura. Great for a suit, great for a mature kind of vibe to give off. Not for everyone, this one, but if you like your classy, old school, um, gentlemanly eau de cologne type stuff, I love the bottle designs from Floris. So one to consider, not mega inexpensive, but for what you get, I think a good, a good steal, as are all the others in this list. Guys, that's about it for today. Let me know what you thought of my inexpensive top five upscale smelling fragrances comment down below thank you ever so much for watching i hope everyone's staying safe and well and uh, will remember whatever you're doing in life let's project i'll see you in the next video bye bye